Today is National Pierogi Day. As you might guess, that's a pretty big deal in Cleveland. It's kind of like our unofficial food, right? And what better way to celebrate than to learn more about these little pillows of love? So we sent Betsy and Mike Polk Jr. out to Parma for some shenanigans. Happy Pierogi Day, everybody! It is Mike's least favorite holiday of the year. I'm not a fan of the cuisine, but still, I celebrate it. We are going to celebrate with you, too, because we are here at Rudy's Strudel, the iconic store right here in Parma on Ridge Road. And I'm going to share some pierogi trivia with you. Like, the largest edible pierogi ever made was 92 pounds. Did you know that? I did not know that. I hope ours are a lot smaller than that. I have that. so much more. Let's go have some fun. Let's go! Thank you for having us. Thanks so much for being here today. Happy Pierogi Day. Happy National Pierogi Day. Every day's Pierogi Day. Just be this advised, Mike does not like pierogies. Now, let's make this clear right now. It's not that I don't like pierogies. That's I what just, he said. It's not one of my favorite foods, but I'm here celebrating it. Isn't that important? Pierogies are the official, unofficial food of Cleveland. You just have not had the right pierogi. You have not had my pierogi. Everything here is handmade. And you have a new kind of pierogi debuting for National Pierogi Day. Absolutely. We're so excited. We are doing our dog pound chili pierogi. We make a homemade chili, and then we mix that with a little bit of potato and some cheddar cheese. Actually, I have a little bit of pierogi trivia I just wanted to share with you I'm guys real fast. I'm going to try one while you're doing trivia. Yeah, please. It's thought that the pierogi first arrived in Poland in the 13th century. I went to one website. These might be completely made up. <laughs> there is an area in the United States known as the pierogi pocket. That's where two-thirds of the yearly U.S. pierogi can consumption happens. That's New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Chicago, Detroit, and parts of New England. We're in the pierogi pocket. I want my third one. I know, yeah, I'm proud of you. Chili. I'm going in. This is excellent. A convert. Well, I've worked up an appetite to learn more about pierogi. Can we take a little peek in the kitchen? Come on, let's go. Let's go right. meet the ladies. All right, Lydia, this is where the magic happens. The pillows of love are assembled right here. Take us through how, how this process works. The dough goes to the roller outer, and then it gets rolled <laughs> out here. Yep. And then every single circle here is cut out wow. by hand. Everybody grab a circle. Just a little bit right there. Bit. Just a little bit. And now you are pinching. I mean, we actually pretty impressed you guys. Really? Let's see, I knew you were going to have it. My Thank guy, you. I mean, I was a little... It's one to grow on. 100 dozen a day you sell. Yeah. Every single one of them, hand rolled hand cut, hand stuffed, hand folded, hand pinched, and boiled, and then ready to go. We made our pierogi. Yes. Now what do we have to do? Okay, so the pierogies are ready. We've got beautiful boiling water, and then we skim them in. What does the skimming do? The skimming is so that it's not, you're not plunking it in there. You want them separated. And then you don't have to do this boiling anymore. You come home, and what did we say? We're going to pan fry it. Pan fry with onions and butter. All right, Lydia, so we have National Pierogi Day coming up this weekend. Give us some insider tips if people are going to come and, and do some celebrating. So, yes, we're absolutely celebrating big time here um, at Rudy Strudel and our friends over at the current year. It is their one-year anniversary. Super cool. They opened up um, a year ago on National Pierogi Day. This is going to be, this weekend, Ground Zero Pierogi Party Central. Absolutely. Where else would you be? It's going to be amazing. So, happy Pierogi Day, everybody. Happy Pierogi Day. Yay! Yay! And the big question is, is Mike Polk now a fan? You saw my journey there. Yeah. I went from not liking pierogi and then, which is the plural of pierogi, I found out. Not, yes. It's not pierogi. It's not pierogi. Exactly. It, it's not. <laughs> and what, one more interesting one, it, one pierogi I found out is called a pierogue. Wow. Oh, I never Isn't knew that. Isn't that weird? I just, look at it, I just blew Jay's mind. Yeah, I didn't but know you, that. you said now that you prefer them fried over boiled, which is how I like them. You like them boiled or no, you like them fried? No, fried. Absolutely. Fried all the way, well, man. Pretty much fried, everything baby. Yeah, is they're good. fried. Yeah, I think we can is. agree. Absolutely. But yes, she sent me home with some from there, and thank you so much for that, Lydia, on behalf of me and Lydia. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, I know. Uh, weird. Right? But uh, I fried them up myself, like in, the pan, in a pan when I got them with back. With butter? Yes, with her, yes. Uh, at her advice, and uh, it was magic, and now I'm converted. But you'll still never sell me on that Polish boy, that's disgusting, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. All right. I'm with you on that, too. I don't too. want that. Uh, yeah. right. We can do better, Cleveland, than the Polish boy. <laughs> All right, Mike, thank you very much. Thank you. All right.